it up that I don't know. I'm not that old. At least compared to some of the the normal casters around here. I just hit the save point, but I'm right here. So remember all those pictures? Uh, this is where they become helpful. I don't remember the order, so I remembered the order that I clicked already, obviously. Otherwise, that would have uh, this fight would have happened sooner. But uh, the first time I did this, I didn't know the order. Second time I did it, I didn't know the order. But it's not that hard to figure out anyway. Now that's for this door. There's a chain link. Yeah, Bowser got his first weapon now. There's usually an easy way to get the first weapon for everybody. Like, Mario's was off the first boss. Uh, Milo's was off the, uh, the Cricket Pie. Gino's you got by going back to Rose Town. So, everybody had a free first weapon. And they're all fairly powerful for a first weapon. So, uh, I didn't remember what that was, I just remembered there was something over there. Uh, literally the only reason I hit it. I don't really uh, remember much of the top of the tower. So, I don't really remember much of any of the tower, honestly. Uh, that's not a big deal. I remember the stuff that matters. I'm going the wrong way, by the way. Uh, that's a mess. The Smasher is really, really nice to have. That's why I picked it up, especially when you aren't uh, leveling as aggressively as I used to. I'm not wasting XP if I fail. So, uh, damn. Essentially, this is like if a child said the floor is lava. But then fire exploded out of the floor every time you stepped on the lava. It was like a child's nightmare. I don't care about Lucky right now because I actually want my XP and I'm not good enough at Lucky for it to uh Help me enough. I'm switching the transform pin to Kino because it's more useful than the wake up pin right now. Oh, that's not true. The wake up pin is very useful for the next boss fight. Well, not potentially the next boss fight. Possibly the boss after the next boss fight. Uh, now that I think about it. Uh. This part is fun to do, but uh, there are easy ways around it. And I'm not going to do that because, uh, 
That takes the fun out of it. But you could hide back here. You pretty much stand at the door and run away. But where's the fun in that? It's honestly not that hard to dodge, so I mean, I didn't want to go in here. Not yet, anyway. Uh, this room has two secret boxes. One of which I have no idea how to get. This is the one I wanted, for later. I don't remember where the second box is, so... I'm just pretty sure it's somewhere next to the door. One of the doors. Oh, no, it's right there. Okay. And there's Princess Peach, who we saw earlier. And now we're behind the curtain. Sounds complicated. Alright, so the new game is to hide from the Sniffets. It's a current minigame. So... If you get caught twice, uh, which I didn't get caught at all, if you get caught twice, you fight a boss. Yeah? Booster catches you because there's no way you can hide, but then he sees the doll up top. So it doesn't matter. He never notices you. And he starts crying. And you knock the doll down and he notices you. And you get an amulet. Where your uh, your file name comes in. For some reason, every game has to do that. I 
still don't understand why these guys are here. I think he hits harder. Basically my strategy at this point is to just make sure Mario never uh, Mario is never under a status effect. Now this attack right here is why uh, I want to focus on one instead of splitting damage. Which I would focus on one anyway. Lowers damage significantly when one is dead. Period. But having both of them alive uh, lets them do this thing. This is very annoying, and I think Mario is dead. Also annoying, but I had the pick me up, so it's not that big a deal. I don't want to waste Mario's turns on healing if I can help it. If I run out of pick me ups, then uh, I will. But knife guy is dead. So the fight just got a lot easier. All this guy can really do is silence and put people to sleep, but as long as Mario is awake, uh, I don't care. Bowser is also extremely strong, so... Uh, I wish I had two wake-up pins. I could able juice. I should have able juiced. I did not able juice. Should be over soon anyway. I don't like it matters too much. I need to heal because Mario is uh, dying. I guess I didn't need to upgrade to mis mid mushrooms yet. My health really isn't that high. Except for like Bowser. Bowser's awake again. And he is dead. He would have died regardless if Bowser woke up. Or but, uh, it was nice that Bowser got to get the land. Flower jars really aren't helping me anymore, but uh, they're nice. This just means I need less and less. Uh, Maple syrups. And once I unlock elixirs, I will probably carry no maple syrup. At all. I know that's not. Never mind. I'll probably carry no mushrooms. Or very few. Because elixirs and Kiro Kiro Koas are extremely powerful. Alright, this can be really annoying because of the hit detection, but typically it's it's very good. And it's a good way to stack flowers. I missed that. Badly, I might say. Missed that too. I'm never going to catch him again if I keep missing. A little fr- Frustrating. And the sniff it hit detection, like when they're coming up on you. It's 
so, so, so frustrating. But there's number two. There's three. I think this area turns into beetle catching. Later. So, oh, there's four. There's five. Fucking sniff it. There's six. This is better than most of my runs. I usually get caught behind them. Stuff like that happens. Seven. Definitely one of my best runs, sadly. Considering I've played this mostly as a kid, not that side. Very nice. Seven extra hearts is very, very useful. Hearts. Uh, this is one of the funniest places to be because it can turn you into a. Uh, I th actually think that's weaker. Uh, it's annoying because I just bought it. But whatever. Uh. I'll sell it. I know these aren't weaker. Bowser really needed the defense. Yeah, that is weak. I knew the super hammer is weaker, and that's why I did not buy it. Uh -oh. They do not have pick-me-ups, which is a little annoying, but I'll manage. I don't need Fright Bombs. I've never used them, so why I don't need them. Uh, I don't need the Wake Up Pin for the boss, so I'm going to use... Amulet for some extra damage and defense. Now we're gonna head up to Raz and Rainy, since we didn't see it earlier, are people from Mushroom Kingdom who are we're getting what Married, and they've come to marry more. For it. And Booster just kicked them out. Now I can't get into this door. But he says the back door is locked. Or he thinks it is. So, we go to the back door. Where these guys are making a cake. Jump on it, they yell at you. When you walk in, he sees you. He realizes Mario has just gotten into the cast into the chapel, and now he's trying to slam down the door that the other Sniffit is blocking. Now he wants me to help him. Which this one is a little annoying in the timing, but once you get it it's not too bad. And they blocked this door. Uh, uh, they mentioned uh, Bowser. So Bowser came out. Now he's gonna try and break down the door. 
He needs my help, though. So. We run in. They knock Peach down. Why she was sitting by the door is beyond me, but... Now she's lost her shoes, her ring, and her brooch. Brooch. And her crown. Even though she's still wearing a crown. Mister's wearing a viking helmet. Oh, yes. Okay. But now we have to, uh... Collect all of her stuff. Her wedding gear. <laughs> I like how they just sort of ignore the fact that we're here. talk to all the sniffets because for some reason they're like hi Mario take this to booster hey come back here okay so the talking mechanic is a little wonky but I managed to get him anyway so I got all the items and as you can see, there's a crown on his head. So you grab it and you talk to him. And here's one of the fun RNG moments. Which I don't know if it's actually RNG, but I think it is. I like how she's confused who she should kiss. Then Booster goes in and sticks his nose in your face. Sometimes it'll be Bowser and sometimes it'll be both. Wedding's already been crashed. What is he talking about? This boss was very annoying the first time I fought it. Uh, Basically, I'm going to ignore the two down there and attack the cake. If you don't, you're just wasting your time. Because in order to get past this phase of the fight, uh, you have to do enough damage to trigger the two cutscenes. Or the two events, whatever you want to call Which the second one really isn't that long, so as you can see, it's already happened.
Okay, now we're in phase two. And like it said, you have to blow out all the candles. Now, you can only blow out one candle per turn. Per attack. So it doesn't matter how you hit him during this phase. And every time uh, he attacks, he lights one candle back up. So it's basically a race to hit him more times than he can attack. Which isn't that hard. 3 against 3 versus 1 and it's a, a very basic uh, turn system. Meaning... Uh, It's always the same order. Now here's Sandstorm. So, what I'm gonna do... Well, since Gino is, like, dying, I had the mid mushroom. But what I'm gonna do... Is Able Juice Mario. Now, since I don't have to heal, I'm going to Gino Boost. Which is an attack up, but if you hit your special button at the right time, there's also a, uh, a defense up. I kind of expected that. Badly. So, I'm not going to waste my able juices on anybody but Mario now. Uh, I'll just focus on Gino boosting. Everybody, and then, uh... And then, able juicing when needed. Gino needs a Gino boost still, so I'm gonna do it and then heal with Bowser this turn. But after this turn, everybody's in Gino boosted. So their defense is up until they die, essentially. Which is very, very helpful uh, in a fight like this. Hopefully, he doesn't sandstorm. Or well, the fight will be over. This is why I use this party. With Gino Boost, I can get defense and attack. Which means I last longer and I shorten fights. So Gino's first three turns are typically Gino Boosting. And then he becomes a dedicated healer, more or less. Uh, him and Bowser trade off. The only one who never heals is Mario because he has the highest damage output. So for him to heal, unless it's an emergency, is a waste of time. Especially since turns are very static. It's not a, an AT system like modern uh, JRPGs are. Like Final Fantasy 7 or farther. Actually, I think it's 6 or maybe even 4 or 5. Uh, basically, after the NES. Uh, late Super Nintendo. Or mid Super Nintendo onward. That's fine. I like this style too. Uh, Final Fantasy X kind of went this way. They did have the ability to uh, shorten return times based on... Uh, basically you had an AT system, but almost everything cost almost about the same, so uh, it didn't matter. <laughs> 